bring in Fox News contributor Mark Thiessen. Mark, I don't think I've ever witnessed anything like that. The anger, the defensiveness, the dishonesty, um, the inability to communicate any sort of competence or accountability. His own administration said he couldn't be held accountable. In a court of law, they take pity on him, a jury. No, exactly right. Like we, we are now beyond concern about whether Joe Biden can serve a second term. We should be concerned about whether he could finish serving his first. And, and this press conference made it worse. I mean, first of all, he just referred to the president of Egypt, President Sisi, as the president of Mexico in that press conference just then. So he, he couldn't remember Hamas. He, he, in the last week, he couldn't remember who Hamas were. He, could, he described a conversation with a long-dead French president. He described his conversation with a dead German uh, chancellor about the January 6th attack, who died four years before the attack happened. And he now has discussed, described his conversations with President Sisi of Mexico. That's what we just witnessed. He, he said during that press conference that during the crisis, just a couple of days after the, after the attacks in the Middle East, the October 7th attacks, he took the time to have, in the middle of a, a crisis, to have a five-hour interview. Let me describe, read to you what the, how the presidential, how the uh, special counsel described that interview. In his interview in our office, Mr. Biden's memory was worse. He did not remember when he was vice president, forgetting the day of the interview when his term ended. He, 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 and on the second day of the interview when his term began. He did not remember, even within several years, when his son Bo died. His memory appeared hazy when describing the Afghanistan debate that was once so important to him. He described General Eikenberry, who was his ally, as someone who he disagreed with. And then it said that the uh, they found that the reason they didn't go to a jury and, and charge him, couldn't charge him, is because his diminished faculties and faulty memory he showed in our interview with him. That is the state of Joe Biden's mental capacity when he was handling the October 7th attack. In the middle of that, what's, what's so? Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say we expected someone to come down into the Oval Office and say, "Joe, it's over," and say, "We can't have you yeah. run for re-election just for the sake of the country, for the sake of the safety of the nation." Aren't there any wise old hands to come down and deliver that message to the president? Because this is a dangerous world, and we've now had a conclusion by his own administration that he's not equipped, uh, mentally, physically equipped to handle the duties of the presidency. This makes everybody feel unsafe. 100 percent. Look, here's the thing. We've, we, 70, 76 percent of Americans say that he's too old to serve a second term. And that's based on his public utterances. His, we, we have limited view into his, into his mental capacity because we just see him may stumble in press conferences, make a, make a mistake on the world stage. But we all sit and wonder, well, what's he like behind closed doors if he's this bad in public? And we didn't know. And what the special counsel has done has pulled back the veil and shown us, shown us what he's like in a five-hour interview. Well, if he's having that much trouble having a conversation, remembering facts, uh, following trains of thought in his meetings with Justice Department lawyers, what are his meetings with world leaders like? What are his meetings with his national security advisors like? You know, he, he told us after the disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal that no one told him to, uh, to leave 2,500 troops as a residual force. And then his military commanders testified that he had, they had, they had all told him that we needed to leave 2,500 troops behind in Afghanistan. Was he lying or did he actually not know? Well, that's I where mean, we are, we, Mark. We are at the war. point where we don't know if he's telling the truth or he doesn't remember. And if you read the exactly. report from her, he says that over and over and over again, where the president doesn't really know or can't remember and then later just says, yeah, I wanted to keep these documents for my book. And you can't have it both ways. You can't have it where he's not going to remember enough so you can't put him on trial. But... If you're going to say, well, he actually knows everything, well, what are you talking about? He's just said he can't remember. None of it makes any sense. And this might be the worst day of his presidency, maybe not as bad as the Afghanistan day. This might be the worst. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.